What's up gamers? Welcome to the channel. Today we're going to be talking about how to take advantage of shiny sandwiches in the game. Yes, you don't have to be an end game to do this. You could be an early game and I said shiny sandwiches. Multiplayer shiny sandwich boosting is a thing in this game and end game players can team up with early game players. You don't even need to have the shiny charm in order to pull this off. A big shout out to my friend Chef Keith for making this possible. Okay, step one is going to be pretty simple. All you have to do is fly over to Lavincia. This is where you're going to be getting everything you need. If you're in early game, you could just ride over to here. And once you arrive in the city, you're going to be going to two places. One, you have Delhi Cisco. Inside of Delhi Cisco, you'll have an opportunity to buy a lot of the stuff that is here. So things that you'll need are like prosciutto. You grab some bacon, cucumbers, avocado, red onions are big, hamburgers, smoked filet. All the ingredients basically on this chart you can pick up. And there are a lot of very easy ingredients that you can grab over here. So you're going to use Delhi Cisco for this. And if you fly over to the north part of Lavincia, you have to go over to the Acquiesta supermarket. So let me just head over to that real quick. Here it is. Once you're at the Acquiesta supermarket, you'll have access to buy even more ingredients here that other places may not have. You can buy a bunch of condiments, which you're going to need, like mayo, salt, butter. Those are three big ones. Grab some lettuce, tomatoes, onions, pickles, ham. Grab some cherry tomatoes, avocados here, red onions. Some things do repeat here, but basically these two stores are going to be the ones responsible for having most of the items. And there's also tofu and cloth sticks. Yes, cloth sticks are here, which you cannot get anywhere else. Basically anything that you can see on this chart for ingredients is stuff you want to buy. They're going to be primary ingredients and they're going to be secondary ingredients. The big thing players have to do is have these ingredients beforehand so you make it a lot easier in the multiplayer session once we get to that. Step number two is the union circle. Pretty much just connect to the internet or if you're local with a bunch of friends with their switches, you just have to connect to each other via the union room. And once everyone is locked in and ready to go, you will appear in each other's world and you will get together and you need to decide what specific Pokemon encounters you want to do. You're going to need to do some communication here because it's going to make a big deal on what sandwich you're going to make. Once you've decided on the type of sandwich you're going to have, we're going to move on to step number three. Now, step number three, it's going to be very important for the host, the one who has Herba Mysticas, which is the special ingredient for the shiny sandwiches, which you get from five and six star raids, to drop a hard manual save before getting into the picnic. So if you're the players that are contributing Herba Mysticas to this group sandwich, Please save your game. This is the part of the thumbnail where I said free multiplayer shiny sandwiches because, because you're not actually going to be using it if you don't get a shiny. Anyway, so once you do that, make sure the host then creates the picnic. Once the player creates the picnic, the host has to start the sandwich. At that point, other players will have to click on the picnic, join in on the picnic. And then once everyone is loaded up, it should say four out of four players are all there or depending if you have three out of three or just two out of two. Once everyone is ready, basically you can go ahead and start making the sandwich. If you're not somebody that has Herba Mystica, you don't have to hard save the game. You can just keep your autosave on. Now for the next step, it's going to require a lot of communication because if you don't do this right, it's all going to fall apart. And the best thing I could suggest is to join our Discord, but I'll be talking more about that at the end of the video. Step number four. At this point, as the sandwich has begun, everyone's going to be going into the custom sandwich. You're not going to be making one of the main sandwiches. You gotta hit the custom one, that way you have all the blank ingredients and you can select the ingredient. Now the first thing that is going to happen is the host is going to select the two primary ingredients that are going to correspond with the type of Pokemon you're going to hunt. Very, very important. All players who are in this picnic have to contribute the secondary ingredients to the recipe. Here is a list of all of them, but I really suggest that you use yellow peppers, red peppers, pickles, onions, or red onions. Those are the easiest to place on a sandwich because they are not going to fall off as the other ingredients here, but all of these are options but it just please use the easiest ones. It'll make everyone's life easier. And also make sure that you are properly communicating so no one doubles up on any of these secondary ingredients. So the host would throw a yellow pepper, player two will throw a red pepper, player three will select pickles, and player four will select onions, for example. As long as nothing doubles up here. At that point, everyone is then going to hit the next button going on to the next part, which is going to be the condiment. So the host plays two Herba Mysticas of your choice together. And after that, each of the players will place down a specific condiment that is different. So the ones I suggest and the ones that Chef Keith suggested was one player throw down salt, another player throw down butter, and another player throw down mayonnaise. At this point, you're going to move on to the sandwich making part and all the stuff will be thrown on the sandwich. I suggest just letting the host build the sandwich. If you have that many people grabbing the piece of the sandwich, it's gonna be a lot crazier. And you can see that it's very easy 
to place down all these ingredients because they're very tiny, small, and you really have to drop these ingredients and mess it up if you don't want this to work. After you place all the ingredients, simply just slap down the bread, put in the pick, and then every player has to hit the A button so you can skip that little cutscene. Player's gonna eat the sandwich, everyone's gonna be extremely happy, and then you'll see the three buffs on the top right screen that will say level three sparkling power, level three encounter power, and level three title power. If you get those three boosts, that means nobody messed up and everyone did a fantastic job. If any of those three are different, somebody messed up the recipe and you might have to do it over again or maybe something fell during the sandwich making process. Once that is complete, everyone is now going to be benefited, which means even the early game players now have a shiny boost that the end game players have with their shiny sandwiches and everyone is now going to be able to start shiny hunting but we are not done yet with this process there are two options you can do after this step one we'll call this the multiplayer option the multiplayer option basically is going to involve everyone still staying inside of the host world which means you could just go ahead and hunt down the pokemon you want in groups together now the only problems with this is our despawns when you encounter pokemon it's there's a lot of bugs when you're doing this in multiplayer. The big benefits of multiplayer is if you have version exclusive Pokemon, Pokemon Scarlet player, and my buddy Keith is a Pokemon Violet player because Keith was over here, he was able to spawn Dreepies in this location and I was able to see them. So the benefit would be a Violet player being able to pull off a shiny spawn for maybe a Pokemon of their version. And then you, the Scarlet player, can run up to it and grab it later. Unfortunately, I wasn't able to get a shiny dragon in the multiplayer session. But we're gonna move on to the single player session, which is very interesting and the best part of this whole entire thing. So here's what happens. Once you do complete the sandwich from the multiplayer's perspective, the host then has to just simply hit the sleep button on their switch and everybody is going to start disconnecting. You'll get the notification on your screen that you have been disconnected from the session and you can go ahead and hit your D-pad option to see that the shiny boost and all the boosts you got from the sandwich are still active. At this point, every player can do whatever they want in their own world while having these exact sandwich boosts. This makes this a very powerful strategy for everyone to do whatever they want with the sandwich boost that they get. At this point, you can start to hunt whatever you want. Remember, you don't need to have the shiny charm and you don't need to be in the end game. All the shinies that I'm about to show you are all going to be without the shiny charm. The first Pokemon that I bumped into was when we use a ground buff sandwich. This was a Toad's Cool. I did not really see it. And my buddy was on the call telling me that, hey, you missed that thing. And then I finally saw it. So uh, you have to really be careful when it comes to shiny Pokemon. You can miss them. They're very easy to miss, especially when you're doing the whole entire respawning and despawning by running around. That's one of the big strategies you have to do, by the way, when you are using these sandwiches. When we used a bug sandwich, I was able to get a Larvesta in the desert to spawn by running around. And so many Larvestas were there, but that shiny Larvesta was really good to have in the game. And then right after I finished Larvesta, I tried to go for some Relors by spawning them in, but I was not having any luck. So I ran down to the lake. And as soon as I got to the lake, I bumped into a shiny Scyther. So I was able to get two shiny bug Pokemon without the shiny charm in my single player world and I gained the boost from being in a multiplayer world and somebody else made that sandwich for me. Now, if for some reason the host does not get a shiny Pokemon within 30 minutes, guess what? All they have to do is reset their game and the Herba Mystica gets completely reset because they did not use it at all because they saved before using it. Therefore, they can do it again and again and they can completely just host picnics, boost players, send them on their way. Now, the three strategies I suggest everyone follows, like I mentioned before, run up to a whole area of Pokemon, let them spawn in, run away from that group of Pokemon you're hunting, let them despawn, come back, and they're going to be completing new spawns. You can involve yourself with mass outbreaks of the same type that also is now boosted to make it even better. You can even use the shiny picnic reset method with that shiny boost you got from somebody else in your own world if it applies to the same Pokemon type. And make sure to also open up the boost to check to see how much time you have left. It's really important so you're not just hunting something and you have no shiny boost. The biggest strategy of everything is you got to use Discord. We have Discord so everyone can communicate with each other. I even set up a chat called Shiny Multi so you all can find each other, link up, and be able to completely boost these sandwiches over and over and over again and, and farm whatever shiny Pokemon you want. Make sure to also check out the shiny trick I just mentioned when it comes to Picnic Reset. And I'll see you guys in the next one.